Hey YouTubers, and what's up Vanguard Fishing Team? Uh, it's neat to hear about uh, ASUBB having a college fishing team now. That's a pretty neat deal. I hope it works out. And for y'all's first tournament, I've heard that it's going to be on Bull Shoals in September, which, boy, that's a tough time to be on the lake. Uh, still in a summer pattern. Water hasn't really cooled off yet enough to help the fish out. Uh, it's probably in the mid-80s. Could get down around 80 by the time y'all uh, have your tournament. Uh, some spots that I would focus on that uh, could help be more productive is to stick to your steeper banks. Uh, so you're looking for bluff ends, uh, the ends of a bluff. Uh, you're looking for points, uh, channel swing banks that uh, creek channel swings in, um, some docks. Uh, so those those would be the spots, the docks that are in deeper water with some shade. If you can find all of that, that'd be great. Uh, so those spots would be where I would focus starting out the day. And uh, if you get to practice, you know, hopefully you can find where some schooling fish are. And, you know, watch for birds, watch for splashes, uh, you know, really stay alert to your surroundings. And that really tips you off a lot of times to where fish are. So. Uh, some baits to throw in the morning hours, you know, that's your, probably your best chance of catching quality fish is those first couple of hours. So you want to be in the right spot, which I mentioned, and you want to have the right stuff on to be productive. So in the morning hours, the top water bite, you know, you're looking to throw baits like this, the Zara Spook style walking bait, uh, popping, this is a chug bug, storm chug bug. Uh, the whopper plopper with that uh, tail that spins this size and the bigger size, I uh, wouldn't be afraid to throw it too. Uh, bone's a good color to stick with. And, you know, uh, buzz bait. You know, you're wanting to put a good fish in the boat. And those first couple hours in the morning is your best opportunity. So, fishing those bigger baits, uh, that gives you the best opportunity to put a quality fish in the boat. Then after the sun gets up, gets out over the trees, uh, or if you miss the fish, you know, with one of those faster moving baits, I would throw a scam shed in there as a good follow-up bait. These small uh, swim baits, both of those are good to throw in and around fish that are active. Uh, as the day progresses, the fish go down uh, deeper in the water column, you know, starting to get hot. I would focus on, you know, baits that get on the bottom, uh, jigs like this or smaller, finesse, kind of green pumpkin jig uh, would be good to throw a uh, shaky head, a drop shot. Those baits uh, with, you know, eight pound fluorocarbon, six to eight pound fluorocarbon, I'm talking little small worms like that. Uh, this is watermelon candy. I've got a lot of confidence in that color on any lake, really, but uh, so... Focus on those things early. Start off with your top water. Uh, start off early with something like that. As the day progresses, switch over to your jigs, get in the shady side of a dock, uh, you know, something like that with a jig, drag bottom with a Carolina rig, uh, you know, switch over to a color like this. It's called Juice. It's a scam shed or some soft plastic to drag on this Carolina rig, but this bait does really well on the Carolina rig. Uh, and stick with, you know, a big part of the day, you're probably going to have to stick with a pretty finesse tactic to, you know, keep putting fish in the boat. And so that finesse worm, this is a four and a half uh, zoom trick worm. But those things, lighter line, you know, eight to 10, 15 if you're on a jig or a Carolina rig, you know, but uh, those things, focus on those four deals, the bluff ends, the points, channel swings, and docks. And that's really, you know, try to find some of those that are productive and stick with them. Stay there. If you find fish, don't try to leave. So that would be, if I was fishing against you, that's what I'd do. Good luck. Appreciate it.